Hello, everyone. Again, uh, my name is Dmitry. You can call me Dima. I am a technical consultant at TechnoAC. First, I would like to check if you can hear me well. Please uh, send uh, the plus sign in, in the chat box so I could be sure that you, you hear me well. Please uh, send a plus in, uh, in the chat box. Okay. Mm -hmm. Only one person hears me. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll be waiting for maybe some other inputs. So again, my name is Dmitry, you can call me Dima. I am responsible for technical consulting at Techno EC Russia. We are, uh, we develop, uh, produce and supply the solutions for underground utility locations. We mostly do uh, produce cable and pipe locators and uh, water leak detectors. We also produce cable fault locators. Mostly our equipment is working on the basis of uh, electromagnetism. But I will, I will talk about it a bit later. First, uh, for those who who visiting our webinar for the first time, I would like to give a brief information about our company. Uh, let's move to the first slide. So Techno EC company is a pretty big uh, group of companies which was established in 1992. Uh, now we have almost five companies which dealing with different spheres of our business, but uh, our main branches of business are cable and pipe location equipment, uh, electric test vans and water leak detection equipment. So for international market, we are proposing two, uh, two products out of three. Uh, these are cable and pipe location equipment and water leak detection equipment. Also, as I told you before, we are developing and producing the cable fault locators, mostly acoustic and electromagnetic cable fault locators. Uh, that is why um, we have a big experience, not only in supplies, but also in uh, development. We have uh, our own development department. We have uh, our manufacturing site when, where our, our people are uh, producing, actually producing the equipment. You can see the slide and some of you may, may visit our production site. And uh, we have pretty big experience, not only in supplying of the equipment, but in practical usage of it. That, that makes us uh, more reliable partners as any other company, because we have big, big experience in cable location, water leak detection, and, uh, and also uh, cable fault location. So mainly, Today we are going to talk about the cable locators and all cable locators by Techno AC are based on the cable location receivers. There are four receivers uh, from our company which we supply to international market. These are uh, AP, uh, AP14, it is this one, AP27, uh, I'm not sure if you see what I'm showing, just give me a second please, I will use a pencil. The first one is AP14, AP27, and uh, similar receivers, AP19.1 and AP19.3. Uh, 
I will explain what's the difference between them when we come to the sets with this uh, with these uh, receivers. Of course, they have different price, they have different functions, uh, they, they are completely different and they have uh, different applications. Um, all our equipment are based on these receivers. And for location of uh, dead cables and metal pipes, we use the transmitters. Also, for our international clients, we propose two transmitters, more portable one, AG105, and uh, more heavy and powerful, AG120T. We call it just uh, 120. So these are main main equipment which you can get uh, when you try to purchase a cable locator. There are various combinations of this, this equipment and it can be changed in accordance with your needs and in accordance with your request. Um, that is why I'm here to help you uh, to understand what's the difference between these sets and what, what's, what are the application to, applications of this equipment in particular. Um, First, we will start with AP14 uh, receiver. First of all, I would like to say that it is the most basic and the most uh, uh, not, so, not so expensive receiver from our range. It's the, the most affordable unit in our range. As you can see, it has the LED scale which represents the signal level uh, which you can get out of out of the cable or out of pipe. And there are seven uh, LED lamps which uh, <clears throat> which change uh, which light up when you approach the cable or a pipe, for example. Also, you have uh, simple simple controls, such as start stop of the measurement of the operation of the of the equipment on off button, mode button which helps you to change frequencies of your operation, vol uh, volume button, and gain buttons. So this equipment allows you to locate the. Uh, energized underground cables on 50 hertz and also locate the utilities underground uh, with uh, with uh, external sensors and transmitter the main thing about this equipment it does not allow to measure depth uh, this this equi equipment will not tell you what's the depth of the pipe or of the cable that is why it is used only for detection. Uh, you can detect if there, there, there is anything uh, be below ground surface or not. That is why it's least functional, functional receiver out of all the range. Anyway, uh, this receiver has uh, two sets. It is available in two sets, uh, which is a cable locator like success cbi 116n and cable and pipe locator success ag 511n the main difference uh, in these two sets uh, is a uh, ag105 transmitter when you use this set without the transmitter you can locate only 50 hertz cable it, it is okay if it uh, meets your requests, but generally we propose to use the transmitter to create the tracing signal in the utility. Uh, so in, 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 if in comparison between these two sets, we proposed 511N because it's better in many ways and uh, it is more efficient, but still still pretty affordable. Uh, I will move fast uh, from now on because uh, not from now after uh, I will move, move fast past this receiver because uh, it's affordable but uh, it doesn't have so many functions to talk about 
and I will move to next receiver to AP27. You can see that in comparison with previous receiver, I will step back to the other slide I showed you earlier. This one is more, way more functional. Now it has LED screen, which indicates the signal as a bar and numeric indication of the signal. Also, it indicates the gain in dBs and frequency on the screen. Also, it has some, uh, some work information such as volume or uh, signal level changes or something like that. And you can see this device has enhanced controls more more options for controls also it uh, it is used both for cable and pipe location and for water leak detection because this equipment uh, it, its equipment this equipment uh, functionality depends on the sensor which you connected to it so uh, this is a more advanced uh, receiver and it's like a mid-range receiver uh, it has a backlit LED display and uh, it can uh, indicate the signal from the cable or from the pipe uh, in three different ways. Why do you need this? You need this uh, to, to be more precise at your location. If previous receiver had only uh, seven, seven, this seven... Uh, scales it has lack of precision let's be let's be honest but this one it has several ways of indication of the signal uh, I will move back to pencil mode first one is scale as full scale uh, if, if the scale is full it means that you're approaching the cable of the pipe it's pretty easy it's the same as in the previous in the previous uh, receiver the graph the graph shows you the change of signal in real time it can be very useful when you're approaching or p passing by the cable or pipe and also the spectrum window the spectrum window helps you to indicate uh, where is the signal on the on the particular frequency uh, it is very helpful when when you don't know uh, the frequency of the signal so you can check in broadband mode or you can switch to a particular frequency to see if there is any signal also uh, this equipment has uh, memory so you can store up to 30 entries of measurements Unfortunately, this memory raises after device shuts down, but uh, you can use it while you have your device turned on. That will help you to compare the signal levels and see where is the cable. It's pretty convenient, but it's mostly used in water leak detection. For cable and pipe location, it almost have no use. So how, how does this equipment work? uh ap27 receiver supports two modes first one is maximum method it means that when you are approaching the cable and the sensor of uh, the receiver is right above the cable you will get the maximum signal on your scale or graph as it's shown here i will try to yeah i'll just show it like this so you could see the the scale uh this this method is called maximum method so when you are standing above the cable you will get maximum signal on your screen and there is also a minimum method it works the same but you have to change the position of the sensor you see it's different from the picture on the left and the position of the cable will be indicated by the minimum signal that's the difference so I think that this equipment is pretty easy to operate. Still, it needs some training mostly, but generally it is, it's pretty easy to use. So you, you set the frequency on transmitter, then you set the frequency on your receiver, and then you just swing the sensor left and right in order to see uh, where is the cable. It's, it's pretty easy, I guess. 
Okay, so what are the sets available with uh, with this uh, receiver? First one is uh, CBI 436N. It's a basic cable locator, which allows you to detect energized cables and uh, work on frequencies such as 50, 60 hertz or 100 or 120 hertz in order to locate energized cable. It's the basic, the basic set, uh, which we generally uh, propose uh, to a company with transmitter. That is why we have a dedicated set, which is called 438.15N. You can see it already has the transmitter, which allows to connect it to the dead cable or to a pipe and have it uh, located. And also, this transmitter allows uh, to trace the utility up to 3 kilometers average. That is why it makes it more functional and more, more, um, more worth for investment, I, I would say. Uh, so if, if uh, you have any questions until now, uh, I can answer them. If no, we will move on to to next uh, transmitters and to other other side other part of our presentation. If you have any questions, you can type in in the chat box and I will reply. And uh, if no, we will move on. I will wait for for a minute, I guess, because I, I see that some some uh, people are typing in their messages. That's why we, we will have to wait for some time. I'll just switch the, the, the slide for you, just to make a little spoiler. Okay. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, Avi is asking, what is the power output for the transmitter? I will move a little bit back to the slide with transmitters. See, uh, AG105 is a 20 watts transmitter. It's portable, it's lightweight, it's uh, weight only two and a half kilograms, so it's pretty weight. And this one, AG120, is 270 what transmitter you see you see the difference so these are outputs for for the equipment but its weight is 12 and half k g and this one is only two and half k oh, what am i doing kg k kg okay yes uh this uh all equipment supports uh batteries or accumulators the smaller transmitter can be used with type c batteries and accumulators and the bigger one uh, has its own built-in 12 volts accumulators for successful operation Yes, they can be used with batteries and accumulators. Also, each of this equipment has an option uh, to be connected to vehicle accumulator. So they have these special leads, which allow to, to connect to, to, to car to vehicle accumulator. <clears throat> I'm thinking that there are some other questions. How much in terms of cost? Um, in the end of this uh, presentation, I will give you all the information about uh, where can you require the cost of the equipment. Just uh, wait for it. We will be back to it in some in no time. Yes, uh, Abraham, the batteries are rechargeable 
for both transmitters. The smaller one is supplied with the separate charger and the bigger one also has its own charger for the power outlet, which you can use for recharging of the accumulators. Yes, the batteries are rechargeable. Okay, I think that uh, from now on we will be moving uh, to the next receiver. Um, and uh, after that we also will have another question and answer session. So uh, I can answer all, your, all of your questions. Now we move to AP19 uh, family of uh, receivers. So uh, these receivers are most most um, up-to-date equipment and they have uh, most of the required functions for international market mainly we designed uh, the the this equipment for cable and pipe location and for depth measurement i'm seeing that uh, abraham has another question about the depth we are getting to it right now So what's, what's the description, what's the features of this equipment? This AP19 uh, family of receivers locates the buried underground utilities. Uh, it stands for electric cables, uh, water pipes, gas pipes, OFC, uh, optic fiber cables, uh, copper cables. Uh, telecom cables and so on and so forth. Also, uh, AP19.3 has GPS GLONASS module for acquiring of GPS coordinates and uh, uploading them to your PC for uh, further storage. For the same reason, uh, this equipment has a mini USB port which can be used to for the connection of your equipment to personal computer and also we have free uh, pc software for the same purpose so everything is done to acquire some gps data and upload it to your computer you can use google maps or your internal gis software to to do that but the main features are the following for this equipment indication of cable position on the screen this is the the killer feature of this equipment i will move a little bit uh, further in my presentation just uh, to give you a glimpse of what is it see uh, this is the screen this is the screen of uh, the receiver and you can see actual cable on it so when you're turning on when you turn on and set the equipment you are able to see the the position of the utility on your screen you have a graphic representation here and a picture here which shows you that the receiver is uh, not far from the cable and that's what you see on the screen when you uh, when you put the signal of the image of the cable in in the center like it is shown on this picture you will be able to see the depth and current which is indicated automatically and now we're coming to to a question uh, to a question how how do you measure the depth and what is the depth uh, for for this equipment uh, this equipment allows to measure the depth up to 10 meters it doesn't matter if it's pipe or cable doesn't matter what will happen if two or more cables um, if two or more cables, uh, this device will indicate the, the one with the first, with the, the strongest signal level, 
and second it will indicate the cable to which you have connected the transmitter so this equipment works like that you connect the transmitter to the cable and transmitter creates the signal in the cable which can be obtained only by the transmitter and that is why you are able to see uh, the signal from your transmitter if you want to see another cable or any other cable you can you can uh, connect you can uh, use the antenna of uh, the transmitter and you will be able to see any metal object below the ground because the signal will be induced everywhere but if you if we are talking about direct connection to the cable you see only the cable you are connected to okay uh what is the gps resolution uh we are using a civil gps module not military that is why average resolution for the gps is two and a half meters it's not that great but if uh, the device is operated in uh, in the same area for like uh, 30 to 20 minutes the resolution of GPS uh, becomes pretty okay, and uh, you can say that it, it becomes pretty, pretty precise because uh, there are some factors that influence this uh, equipment, such as weather conditions, uh, surrounding buildings, cars, people, uh, people with uh, GPS equipment around, so <clears throat> everything influences that. And uh, in good conditions, you, 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 you can get pretty good results in, in GPS location. So let's move back to the screen of uh, the receiver because it has some several, uh, several uh, indications. First one is called root mode. It's the mode where you actually see the cable on the screen. You also can see the the frequency you're currently on and um, the signal level in numeric in numeric digits uh, can we measure depth by manual method in ag309 uh, no the the depth is measured automatically when you align the the cable in the center of the receiver screen the depth appears automatically. This is how the software of the equipment works. That is why it's easier than uh, in equipment of other vendors to measure the depth. We will have a question answer session a bit later. Just hold on a couple of minutes. Okay, another mode which uh, receiver has is graphic mode. It is the same as in AP27 uh, receiver. You see a real-time graph which indicates the signal level. Maximum signal will tell you where is the cable. Unfortunately, this mode uh, does not support depth measurement. Only in root mode, the first one. Also, we have a min-max mode. It combines two methods of uh, AP27 receiver. So in this mode, the signal is measured both in minimum and maximum. And uh, it, is, it can be convenient because um, these two modes combined have a pretty good precision in location. The minimum method is more precise than the maximum one. It is generally considered so. That is why when you're operating the receiver in this mode, you're able to meet such situations where you have these uh, two graphs combined, the minimum uh, coincides with maximum, and you're able to see uh, it will be the spot, the actual spot of the cable. That is how, that is why it's very convenient. Also, uh, it's not a mode, but supported feature is the GPS uh, settings. You can see the latitude, longitude. You can uh, store the GPS data in, in the memory of the receiver. It supports up to 2,300 uh, GPS entries. And you can also erase the, erase the memory of the device completely. 
after uploading it to the PC. That is that is how uh, we can differ. But this feature is supported only by AP 19.3 receiver, not point one. Also, 19.3 receiver has this uh, so-called uh, zombie mode, which is used for PVC PVC pipe location. Uh, it works like that. You put a special zonda into the pipe, and then you locate it with uh, with the receiver. That's how it works. I think I will tell it about it a bit later to you. Yes, yes, a bit later. Okay. So let's see how how uh, the locator is generally operated. First, let's see the picture on the left. You can see your cable, it's passing by, I'm highlighting it. You can see your transmitter, receiver. Transmitter is connected to the cable and to the ground. The scheme, the schematics of this is given here. There it is. So this is the transmitter. This is the cable. cable and these are these are two grounds I, I'm I'm a bad at drawing so so the main uh, thing we have to know about the cable location is that the utility should be grounded from both sides from one side you ground your transmitter connection, from the other side you ground the, the cable or pipe or whatever it is. After that, you can successfully trace and locate the cable, measure its depth on any, any frequency. That is very important because uh, some, some people mistreat this rule and get bad results at cable location. But if you can't do that, that's okay. Now, if you can't ground the utility from the other side, that's okay. You have some options uh, to work with that. First one is inductive clamps. Uh, there is an option. We can supply our locators with inductive clamps, and they allow to connect to the utilities without actually... Uh, direct connection to them so you induce the signal on the cable through the clamp it's easier and it's okay um, uh, but it has less efficiency than usual so that is why you have to be careful using it uh, because you won't get as good result as with direct connection when you have connected your transmitter when you input all the settings all you have to do is locate the signal and uh, you will be able to see it on the screen and this uh, particular picture shows you how you can uh, align the indication of the cable with the center of the screen and see the actual depth of the cable and also you can see the signal level the current level uh, which is obtained from the transmitter of course, uh, this, uh, this value is different from the output current of the transmitter because some uh, insulation and uh, different resistances. But anyway, uh, you, can, you can evaluate the signal level according to this value and see how the signal is changing while you're moving alongside the utility. Also, you can uh, see, you can indicate the utility by observing its depth. So if it's something like three meters or more, it's most probably uh, a pipe. And if it's less than three meters, it's mo most probably a cable. Uh, in order to do that, you, you have to align the indication of the utility to a center of your receiver <clears throat> so what what are the sets available with this equipment 
the most popular set uh, we propose for this is um, sorry the wrong slide uh, the success AG 309.15 G uh, this set has our most up-to-date technologies implemented and it uh, consists of the receiver, transmitter, and all necessary cables and accessories for successful operation in the field or in the city area. It has GPS, it can detect the utilities up to 10 meters, it has uh, a good set of frequencies which allow you to work almost anywhere in the city or in the field or between the cities so almost everywhere <coughs> sorry and it also measures the depth and the current uh, the IP protection for this equipment is IP 54 for both units it's IP 54 I'm just drawing it for Avi, who's asking. Also, um, this set includes the transmitter. I told told uh, about it uh, to you earlier, and uh, this transmitter allows to trace the the cables and pipes for three kilometers, and it is very lightweight. Two kilograms, two and a half kilograms, depends on the type of the power supply, and it's twenty watts. It means that it's very powerful for its size and it is pretty effective because it has built-in emission antenna which allows you to induce the signal on the ca cables and pipes around you. That is why it's pretty effective in location of any utilities, any metal conducting utilities underground. And also uh, AG120 uh, transmitter it also has IP54 protection and uh, it's powerful. Its uh, power ranges from seven to uh, from 70 to 270 watt. But it's heavy, it's 12 kilograms. It's pretty heavy and it cannot be operated, I think by, by one person. <coughs> one should carry it and another one should operate the the receiver or you, you you can take it to your field by car mostly uh, but it, it increases the distance to five kilometers average and uh, this this device is also good for such uh, utilities as rusty pipes rusty old pipes old cables you know like from from a long time ago and it's it's very good for this purpose also we have some uh, accessories which allow you to uh, do certain jobs for example to locate the cable faults first one is uh, DKI 117 sensor most of you know this sensor as an A-frame A-frame frame I'm bad at drawing for sure and also DODK117 these two uh, sensors have the same uh, functionality but uh, the difference is in the distance of located uh, located area. <coughs> Sorry, uh, this one uh, in can work only on uh, one meter distance, and this one is using ten meters, is analyzing ten meters distance. So you can locate the insulation faults insulation deteriorations and breakages of the cable by connecting these sensors to receivers mostly this is pretty hand handy for uh, electric companies power electric companies and sometimes also telecom companies may use that for for the detection 
Also, uh, as I told you before, uh, we have uh, inductive clamps for the selection of uh, the cable from a bunch. We use it in a cable bunch. It also can be used mostly for power companies in order to locate the cable in, mon in, multiple, in multiple bunches of, of the cables. It can be done by connecting one pair of clamp to transmitter and another pair of clamp to receiver and checking the cables one by one. That's how it is work. Also, uh, we have a 512 sonde with cable coil, which is used for PVC pipeline detection. Uh, this is a quite popular accessory because there is a huge demand on the market for PVC pipe location and there are not so many effective ways to locate that. That is why we propose this solution. You put the, the sensor uh, in the, the zone that inside the pipe, you push it with uh, the pushing rod and detect it with the receiver easy as it is i will step back for a moment and show you how it is working in the screen you see you have uh, here you have a moving graph and it indicates the signal level and when the signal will be maximum like here it will tell you the, the exact position of uh, the zonda in the pipe and the exact position of the zonda will be the location of your pipe. Also, this feature uh, supports the depth measurement. And that makes it very handy for PVC pipe location. So you know where is the pipe, you know uh, what is the depth of the pipe. And you also, because uh, this, this, uh, this rod is flexible, you also can tell uh, the, the zonda can turn if there is a pipe turn or joint it can go left or right or somewhere else so you you can uh, directly tell where is the where is the pipe going this is very handy so for uh, cable and pipe location uh, this is pretty much it uh, you can you can search uh, techno ac on uh, youtube in order to see our videos how the equipment works in the field i'm not putting these videos here because it will take too much time and uh, it will also will be strange you're watching video and i'm just sitting here telling nothing to you that is why i propose you to visit our youtube channel to search type in techno ac in english manually in the search uh, search plate of youtube and you will be able to see how how each of this uh, equipment works and it should be pretty interesting i must also say that all our equipment is iso certified we work with uh, with uh, how can I say uh, with compliance with the highest international standards. Uh, that is why you can be sure that our equipment is uh, of a good quality, and the minimum warranty for our equipment is uh, twelve months for international market. Also, <coughs> we supply our equipment to most uh, the biggest companies in Russia, such as Russian Railways, Gazprom, Transneft, Rosseti, Kamas, and uh, some other. You see, we work not only with uh, power electric companies, but with oil and gas, with telecom companies, electric companies, water distribution companies, and many many others also we supply our equipment to many countries uh, most of them are indicated on this slide and uh, we will be we will be glad to supply our equipment to your country if you have interest in it and uh, there is one more thing i would like to show you it's our contact session 
So uh, if you have uh, any commercial requests or if you like to become our dealer in your country, you can send your email to my colleague, Dina Unikova. Uh, I'm highlighting her email. If, if you like to know the price of the equipment or if you would like to know something about the equipment, uh, about it, unique features or something like that. If you have any technical questions, you can contact me. This is my this is my uh, email and this is me. You also can call our uh, phone number if you like to talk, or uh, you, you can drop me an email. I will send you my WhatsApp number, and we will be able to talk in WhatsApp just to save uh, money for international calls. And uh, also, if you require any any field demonstration of the equipment, you can drop me an email, and we will arrange this event specially for you. We have a test polygon outside our building, and we have all the facilities to do that. Uh, if you are interested to see how how the equipment uh, works and what are the features like, uh, how how do they work in field? We will be glad to give you this information and to give you this proper uh, demonstration of this equipment. Uh, just um, first visit our YouTube channel, see if you have any questions or any requests, then contact our, uh, our, uh, our email. And then uh, we will be ready, ready to communicate and to discuss any details with you. So now, uh, as I promised to you, we're having another question and answer session. And I will be glad to help you and to reply to all of your questions, which you may have while I was giving this presentation to you. Okay. Uh, Abraham is asking... Uh, that he has failure to send mails to Makshana Vladimir. Uh, Makshana Vladimir is uh, not with us anymore. He's not working for Techno EC anymore. In case you need any support, commercial or technical, you can use the contacts I, I gave you just a moment ago. You can write to Dina or to me and uh, we will we'd be glad to help you in any case or in any in any problem you might have that is fine but uh, vladimir is not with us anymore he joined some other company maybe or he's not working with us okay any other questions Thank you, Avi. Thank you for coming, for joining us today. I hope you, you got some new information for you. And um, if you have any questions left, just let me know. I will explain everything and give you all the technical and commercial details I can give. That is fine. Okay, yeah. It's a pleasure to hear that, that everything was clear to you. And... Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nilesh. Thank you, Wana. I hope you, you got the information. I appreciate uh, you, Abraham, for visiting, for joining our webinar. I hope the information uh, is somehow useful. Um, I have some uh, little announcement. I think in a month we will be having another webinar which is which will be about our water leak detection equipment 
I will be telling you about the acoustic water leak detectors we're producing. I will also have some technical details and presentations for that. And I think we will have uh, a field uh, field test for, for this equipment, so you will be able to see how, how does this work. So um, I'm guessing that uh, we will... Oh, we will stop the um, the stream right now. Uh, explain on the cost implication. All all the questions about the cost and the price, Abraham, uh, can be discussed with uh, Miss uh, Dina. This is her email: info at technoic.com. Please send her a message or your previous communication with Vladimir. She will take it up and uh, give you the proper reply okay uh thank you everyone for your attention thank you for joining our webinar i hope to see you soon uh if you are interested in the record of this webinar please drop me an email i will send you the record uh the link to the youtube where you can see the record of this webinar in case you have something to follow up thank you bye